Mm. Oh God. Why do I even bother? I feel like if I was out in the woods and this was a squirrel, I could just gut him real fast. Okay, so this is the, I'm still following my bat sub. This is the bat sub continuation video. And that's the D30, which I opened up the last, last time. And apparently there's also an A30. So somebody sent me a Lox G. So if that's a DAC with a headphone out, is this a headphone amp with a DAC out? USB mini, micro, I mean, power plug. Another Bluetooth antenna. What are they doing? This is not how you do. Is it the same remote? Is it this? It's the same remote that has the same quirk that the volume control is, is or is level. Oh, what? So that means you could use the same remote because if you, if you watch these reviews in order, these unboxing in order, I complain that that one has is a level and a volume control and it uses level for volume and not volume for volume. But now I've got the A30 and it uses volume for volume and level for nothing. What kind of stack is this? I have to examine this. I didn't know these units even existed. This is the first time I'm seeing them. I'm a bad reviewer or a sane reviewer, I guess is a word. So, headphone out. Optical in, subwoofer out, coaxial, coaxial, what? What? USB in, so it's a DAC, with a subwoofer out and a Bluetooth antenna. Then it has an optical in and speaker outs. And then it has a left in and a right in or a coaxial in. That's wild. I've never seen anyone do that. They've combined the coaxial in and the RCA right in. So you have analog in, three different digital ins, four different digital ins, and a speaker output. And the front has a headphone. So, and then it's identical. It looks fuck off identical to the D3. Wow. But this uses a transformer externally and that has a power on the inside. And it got a 24 volt, six and three quarter amp. Wow, I'm just okay. I, I need the I need all these books. I gotta start reading. I need multi I, I only need one remote then. They're gonna be tuned the same. They're not gonna be different. Alright. Alright. Okay. So huh. I, I'm interested, I'm interested. Now this is gonna take some time to explain what the fuck this is, but my bathtub's filling up and it's probably nearing like it's like line right now. So I'm gonna make this quick. This is the Pi AAS, the Pi AAS, Pi two, two Pi. Look, the people in my patron chat are terrible people. They're just like, Zio, Zio, did you hear this is the best thing ever? Zio, Zio, test this. Zios, this has changed my life. I want you to experience it. I've got another like minute. So they organized and they contacted and they assembled this unit, which is a Raspberry Pi. Oh, this is the adapter I can use apparently. So before I move on, this adapter, which is a four pin XLR to a quarter inch, which I've never seen that on the side of a quarter inch. So there you go. Can be used on the Arish. The Arish apparently can power single ended headphones if you have the right type of adapter. So let's try that without blowing it up. But yeah, this is basically a Raspberry Pi that is specifically built to connect your DAC to it so that you can, all right. I shouldn't be doing this standing up in my kitchen. But a user has contacted the company. They agreed. I agreed. And they built it for me because I don't want to spend the time building a Raspberry Pi and programming and everything. Um, cat. 
Whoa, did you just throw your voice? I would have sworn that came from there. Okay, um, basically this is a network device that sits somewhere on your network. And then you take your DAC and you plug it in USB into this. Pi 2 designs, Pi 2 designs. And then you set your computer, wherever it is, whatever's hosting your music, to send your music to this via Wi-Fi or whatever internet. And then when this talks to your DAC, it's better than if you had a computer with the music hooked up USB talking to your DAC. It, there's a, a noticeable, like absolute sound difference. And I'm like, that's bullshit. And they're like, oh yeah? And so here it is. So it's uh, pasta, you're gonna have to ask uh, probably Skedra in the patronage chat, or uh, just go in there and be like, what's the Bluetooth thing that Zio's got? They'll answer you, oh, not Bluetooth, um, the, the Raspberry Pi thing. Because there's a Raspberry Pi down here with all the Raspberry Pi features. And then this is the audio board on top. And I, is that, that's coaxial, like, act, like that's a BNC. Then there's coax, then there's optical, and then there's, is that, a, is that the one that, the, I forget the name of it. And then there's another HDMI, and there's a separate power input. Or is that the only power input? No, there's a USB, um, there's a lot. There's a lot going on in this. But it's supposed to change my life forever. And once I go this way, I can, like, people are using Rune, which is like a $600 music player, but it distributes everything. And as long as, it, does, it doesn't matter what you're using to send the data to the thing, as long as you're sending the data to the thing, and this does very, very, very specific things to make sure the communication with this DAC happens as cleanly and perfectly as possible. So we'll test that shit out. I got the Bucard A500s here. Although those don't really need a DAC because they're digital built in. Um, I'm gonna go shut off my bathtub now and we'll deal with... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's too full. You're too full now. How does this go off? There you go. Tub. So I'm gonna go with naked. I want you all to think about this. Chewbacca, you think about it too. Should I leave the door open? What if Chewbacca jumps up and in? To the shout, to the bats up with me. Like, you think she'd be cool about it? She's a Maine Coon. They're usually like, all right. Anyway, thank you to all the users, aka assholes who are like, you gotta try this, Zio. So I'm like, fuck it, fine. 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 I mean, I could, if I could hook it up, Optical then I mean that'll I if I can hook it up optical and it is as good as they say it is I'll let this be the distribution hub for my whole fucking review desk Hell I'll put optical and co I'll put coaxial throughout the whole house They've got it set up already for a satellite TV. I'll just hook it up for that We'll find out we will see Does this plug in here? No, it doesn't plug in here. See this is you can tell it's a kit though because things like this need an adapter like this for things like this, we'll plug into things like this. Ruining the beauty that was once there. <sighs> See you tomorrow.